Hello, I am Chaplain Anthony Kelly. Today I want to talk to you about supernatural faith in your life. In Matthew chapter 14, we have the story of Jesus walking on the water. In fact, Jesus not only walked on the water, but he controlled the storm. Here's the story. Previously, before this event, Jesus had a successful ministry with the disciples and ended up feeding the multitudes of 50, over 15,000 with just a few loaves and fish. And after the crowds are dismissed and sent away, Jesus tells the disciples to go ahead of him on the Sea of Galilee to the other side. Jesus was going to spend the night in prayer with God. Now, while Jesus was praying, the disciples crossed halfway and they encountered a fierce storm. In fact, the Bible says that they were buffeted by waves, and the Greek word for buffeted almost implies a demonic torture of sorts. They were expert fishermen, yet they were fiercely afraid. They were screaming, and they thought they were going to die. They were crying out for God for help. Jesus, probably hearing and seeing it far off, comes down off the mountain, and instead of taking the boat that was reserved for him to take, he walks on the water through all the wind, stormy seas, through all the highways, and he walks to the disciples. The disciples, in their fear, saw a figure coming toward them. They thought it was a ghost. And yet Jesus said, take courage, it is I. And Jesus, as he's trying to calm the disciples, Peter speaks up and he says, Lord, if it is you, tell me to come on the water with you. So Jesus said, come on. Peter gets up out of the boat and he starts walking toward Jesus on the water. Now Peter began to sink, but only when he took his eyes off of Jesus, he saw the circumstance that he was in, he saw the, the clapping thunder and lightning, the pounding rain upon his face, the wind and the high sea waves splashing all around him. And he began to get fearful and he began to sink. And it was only when he was under the water, he reached up his hand and the Lord Jesus caught him by the hand, pulled him back up on top of the water, and as they got in the boat, Jesus, oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And with just a hand wave, all the seas died down. Jesus had the power to control the weather. What is it in your life today that you are expecting a miracle for? I'm a firm believer that God still works today, just like he did in biblical times. That God is a God of miracles. Those things that you are in prayer for or in need of, you take it to the Lord God Almighty and He will answer. The Lord God who parted the seas and allowed the Israelites to cross through on dry ground, who Jesus walked on the water, can calm the storms in your life. That very same God controls your life and the circumstances that you are in. To further illustrate this point, I brought with me a little $20 bill. Now. This $20 bill, you look at it, it's just a normal bill. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bill, wad it up, and God can do the miraculous in your life. Just when you thought God couldn't do anything for you. God wants to blow your mind. This is just an illustration. An example, this is just a magic trick. God has the real working power, miracle working power for your life today. I encourage each and every one of you to take note, take stock in the fact that God loves you. He's the God of the universe, yet he intimately knows you. Before you were formed in the womb, God knew you and he loves you and He wants to take care of you, even your needs and your wants and desires. He wants to help you and bless you and take care of you. He is our loving Heavenly Father. He loves you. He's crazy about you. And He loves you so much. He sent us Jesus Christ, His very own Son, to die for us on the cross, that we can be saved from our sins, receive eternal life, and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Today, I encourage each and every one of you, look to God, the God of all miracles, for your answers to your prayers.